Happy weekend, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Holly Scoops Moments of the Week. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Courtney Revolution. There is so much Selena Gomez tea from this week that we thought, you know what, this would be a perfect opportunity to break it all down for you guys. <laughs> uh, plus, we got a few other things that we didn't have time to talk about this week. But first, we're just going to start it all from the tippy tippy top. Yes, ma'am. So Wednesday, you guys, Selena dropped her highly anticipated single, Lose You to Love Me. Uh, essentially, a confirmed fan theory that yes, it was a breakup song about Justin Bieber. The lyrics were very apparent. <laughs> yes, We had the two-month lyric that had Ooh. everyone quaking. Messing up hardcore. This course. dance was slowly killing me. Like, mm. everything was about Justin Bieber, and we obviously loved it. I loved it because she laid it all out on the table, and mm -hmm. I don't think it was messy. Not messy at all. I don't think all. it was messy at all. Also not shady. We kind of touched on this a little bit this week. We feel like shade is something that you kind of have to sift through a little bit. It's something, under the radar. Yes, yeah, something that's yes. not direct. And Selena was very direct, which we applaud her for. Also, shout out to Julia Michaels, who assisted on this because she is also a queen. Yes, ma'am. Um, everyone lived for it, including our fave, Taylor Swift. Um, she really summed the it taste. up because she called it a triumph. And it was. And it was exactly that. To be able to be strong enough to put that kind of personal work out there. Exactly. That's a triumph. Exactly. And if anyone knows, it's Taylor because oh. she's always very personal. Mm -hmm. um, Justin and Haley seemingly reacted almost immediately. Justin posted a photo of a cheetah. A I know you cheetah. like to emphasize the cheetah. Yeah. Cheetah. Looking in the mirror. And uh, Haley posted that she was listening to Summer Walker's I'll Kill You. I'll Kill You. That <laughs> really, really went viral. Selenators were freaking out, rightfully so. Mm -hmm. um, it was just too convenient for it to not be on purpose. Mm -hmm. But Haley did later deny that it was a response to Selena's song. She commented on Just Jared's Instagram post. Um, she called it nonsense and yeah. BS. I'm calling it a lie. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm calling I just found it, like you said, very convenient. Yeah. Could have been listening to any other song on the earth. Mm -hmm. You knew Selena was coming and he, you posted Summer Walker, which by the way, shout out to Summer Walker. Right. Because she's breaking records with I her was going to say, album. I'm also happy she's getting the publicity she deserves. She need that this. Bieber promo. As long as we just say Summer Walker, she's winning. Yes. So she's shout out winning. to Summer Walker, but not shout out to Haley because you tried it and unfortunately you got caught. Yeah. And I feel like the whole this is BS nonsense is just trying to backpedal mm. when... She should have just owned it, which is yeah. what I said. I would have respected her way more if she was just like, yep. I, I said it. till I death do us part. Exactly. I completely agree. <laughs> uh, then the next day, Selena surprised us again and dropped a more upbeat, this time more of a breakup anthem, mm -hmm. if you will, uh, titled Look At Her Now. Look again, her the video was all shot on an iPhone. We had choreography. Mm. We had our tea, tears, and twerk. Mm -mm. Passed mm -mm. our mm -mm. test. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. I loved it. Um, it essentially finished Justin off. Mm. Um, I feel like Lose You To Love Me was like, oh, she really went there. A beautiful piano, almost kind of like Adele-esque kind of moment. Right. And then Look At Her Now was Said, girl, let me snatch it. I'm snatching your little cut right off your mm -hmm. little head and tossing it to the walls all the way on out there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There were lyrics like she dodged a bullet, oh. she'll find love when she's ready. Personally, I think the dodged a bullet one is key and amazing. I think we all can agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is also when we filled you guys in on Selena addressing fans and the hate that they had been sending to Haley. You guys take a look at the Instagram live she did this week. I'm so grateful. However, I do not stand for women tearing women down. And I will never ever be by that. What do you think? I mean, I'm glad that Selena is speaking out because mm -hmm. that's something that I personally have been waiting for her to do, right. sort of speak out and say something. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It was something good. Absolutely. It was classy, yeah. a complete class act. She reminded everyone to just be kind regardless of the situation and don't say something hurtful just because you're angry in that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, she definitely practices what she preaches because then she sat down with Ryan Seacrest, talked mm. a lot about her new music. This was the first interview she did after it dropped. And she kind of talked about how she actually wrote the song two years ago, That's Lose insane. You to Love Me, but she held off and waited for this moment. So. Practicing what you preaches. Hold off when you're angry. You gotta wait for your moment. And when you're ready, debut. Exactly. Yes. Um, she also admitted that she didn't name Justin by any means, but obviously we all know who she's talking about, that she saw him move on quickly a million times before that, um, that it would have been stupid for her not to acknowledge how she felt during that time. She says it would have been inauthentic, which is obviously the exact opposite of 
who she claims to be. Yeah. Um, she said these feelings are real and beautiful and a lot of people experience them. So yes, while it is specific to her situation, everyone can relate to Selena's songs. And you know what also, Madison? I just want to bring up the fact that these songs are very obviously not about The weekend. We right. got a lot of comments about like, mm -hmm. how do you know she's not talking about The weekend? Y'all, that was it, was, it was a relationship that happened. It was 10 months. It was also something that was wasn't that impactful. Yeah, I was gonna say, it was, <laughs> I like to think of it as like a blip on both of their radars. Exactly. You know what I mean? It was kind of a rebound relationship for both of them. Selena got with The Weeknd after she broke up with Justin Bieber, mm -hmm. and then The Weeknd got with her after he broke up with Bella, and then they both went back to their subsequent people. So, well, yes, it was 10 months, and mm -hmm. that is a significant time in the grand scheme of things. I think it was, was easy for her to let that go. Either. Yeah. Um, also, on that same day, you guys, a source told In Touch Weekly that the Beavers wanted Selena to just leave them alone. That's hilarious. That was a lot. All they do is bother people, <laughs> Madison. Especially like. because they literally posted on Instagram after it happened, so it just seemed a lot. <laughs> Contradictory. Look in the mirror. Uh, very contradictory. And then at the end of the week, you guys, the drama continued. Uh, fans realized that Justin's mom still <laughs> follows Selena on Instagram. Haley liked a photo of Selena and her friends celebrating her new music, mm. which she has liked Raquel Stevens post Absolutely. in the past. But this one just seemed interesting given everything right we just told you. Right after you posted, I'll kill you. Now here you want right. to come being supportive. Right. And then a source confirmed to E that the Beavers did hear Selena's new music. And it's not ideal for Haley, but she understood, you know, this is part of Selena's creative process. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a separate report right at the end. It was from Radar Online. Oh. And it said that Haley was concerned Selena's new music could bring Justin back to a dark place. Oh. Um, while he's made strides with his mental health, he's still fragile and sensitive. So to try to spin the narrative like Selena is attacking him. Mm -hmm. I think that's hilarious because I think that Justin attacks other celebrities right. all the time. And I feel like Selena, her way of dealing with her own situation is by being artistic. Mm -hmm. We all know what she does, which is sing. Right. She's singing her truth. Justin will be fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cheating on somebody, now she ain't supposed to sing about it? Right. Okay? Right. So they will be fine, Haley is fine, they're married, and Selena will continue to rise to the top. And if Haley just acts like the wife, that she wants to be, and that she is one, and she gets this position, she's always wanted it, I feel like all will be okay. I think Selena has said her piece. I think if Justin wants to get out and finish the conversation for good and Fine. share his side, he totally has the right to do that. But once that happens, Madison, Done. everybody move on. Yeah, because Selena on. has said, this is it. She said during that same interview we told you uh, about a little bit ago with the Ryan Seacrest, mm -hmm. she said, you know, these are the last two songs. Two songs and that's it. That's it. I'm done. So there's really no more, I guess, whining, if you even want to say that, from the Beavers to be had because mm -hmm. it's it after this. That's it. It's done. This so leave it. it. Close the door. Yes. Um, the other headlines we wanted to talk to you guys about, first one, Lindsay Lohan. Oh uh, she posted and then shortly deleted a, now this is shade, a shady Instagram post about Cody Simpson after they were both on that Mass Singer Australia. You guys know it's my favorite thing to talk about when I talk about Cody Simpson. Uh, she posted an old pic oh of God. Cody and her sister Allie and said, when you realize you failed and you settle for less, Cody Simpson, family is everything. You won the Mass Singer, but you lost your future. Lindsay Lohan, we don't even know what your future is because I'm sure after the parent trap, we had a nice little plan on what we thought you were going to go on to do, yes. but you became one of those 2007, 2008 socialites that became a mess, <laughs> and unfortunately you have been picking up the crumbs of your career ever since. So you're <laughs> on the mass Singer, not even in your own country. I know. Maybe you should leave Cody Smush Face Sandwich Face uh, Simpson alone. <laughs> alone. Alone. Like, are you kidding me? This man just won your show, I know. and now you're going to drag him in the name of your sister for what? And it's funny because they dated a while ago, and I just feel like, why? I, it's so random to just attack somebody. I feel like Lindsay just loves to randomly like shade, be in the comments of other yes. celebrities. It's so weird. And let's not act, Madison, like Lindsay Lohan is the greatest at making decisions because where is the beach club and you fired Mike? I just wanna, okay. <laughs> beach club was done after one I, season. One, se not one season, and she's Lindsay Lohan. It's been dismantled already. Uh, the last mm. thing we're gonna talk about, Kaya Gerber <laughs> and Pete Davidson. What? Oh, the she, random woman right, right who was seen. She's 18, she's the model of, <laughs> she's a model, she's okay, Cindy Crawford's daughter. This Saturday is done. I, I gotta go. I know. Uh, they were spotted out for a second time together in New York this week. A fan actually caught them at Sedell's, which is like a very popular place. Okay. Um, 
What's interesting is that a source told Radar Online that Kaya's famous mom, like I was just saying, Cindy Crawford, isn't. Cindy. Yes. What that's the her name. Mm -hmm. Okay, who cares about Kaya? But Cindy. I know she isn't a fan of the situation. Yeah, there is a bit of an age difference. Pete is twenty-five. She's eighteen. Okay. Freshly legal, at least. Uh, but a source Fresh. told Page Six that they're quote just friends. But again, they've been really spotted, and mm. people are kind of like, what's going on? And Pete obviously love a younger looking. Mm -hmm. Woman. Well, I think Pete just needs women who have prominence. That way he can keep this ball rolling for himself. And he's, what is he working on? He's on SNL. Still? Mm, I believe so. Well, you need to continue to do that. Okay. Because I <laughs> don't know nothing about him outside of that. Ariana's gone, and look, we haven't heard about him since. Since he's uh, now with Kaya Gerber. And, we, and I don't and, even know yeah. who that is, and but we do know here. Cindy. You were not yes, here for Cindy. it. You were not here. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's time to let us know what you're thinking. What is your reaction to everything that went down with Selena, Justin, and Haley this week? We want to hear it all. And what are your thoughts on the other headlines? Does Lindsay Lohan need to log off? Yes. <laughs> are you here for Kaya and Pete being a new couple? <laughs> Clearly you're not. I am not. You guys, let it out down below. Don't forget to tune into the Morning Tea on Monday. We'll be there at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Set your phone alarms. Yes. Um, in the meantime, shop the Holly Scoop store. Subscribe and click that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.